What is going on guys? It's your boy Big Dylan. Welcome back to another Destiny video. Just got another little bit of a discussion video today, basically talking about abilities in Destiny. How you know, abilities have become very obnoxious and how Destiny is basically becoming a very ability heavy game. And a few changes that I'd like to be made to abilities going into the future of Destiny, you know, with Destiny 2 just being around the corner. Hopefully it's not as ability heavy as Destiny currently is in its current state because if it is, it's going to be quite annoying. Um, but let's go over ability cooldowns. So, first things first, ability cooldowns are too quick. You shouldn't be able to have a tier 12 build. I have a tier 11 right now, but you can get a tier 12 build. Tier 12, in my opinion, shouldn't be doable. Um, I think the max I would like, really, um, is tier 10 at a push. But um, on average, I'd like it about a tier 8 or 9. Just so you'd have to think about, you know, which you're specking into a little bit more. Um, it'd also make sure that you are having, you know, tier 5 this, tier 5 that, maximum this, maximum that. The reason, in my opinion, why it's so bad is because the actual tier 5 cooldown for a grenade and melee is 25 seconds. And that, in my opinion, is just way too short. You get your grenades back way too quick. I can spam a grenade, count for 25 seconds, and spam another grenade. And you know, in the current state, with um, with certain classes having, you know, chest pieces or gauntlets that give them an extra grenade, um, it makes for a very ability-heavy game. Um, I feel like the general focus of the game has moved more towards abilities and supers over time. Um, and I feel like the gunplay in Destiny has just <laughs> gone down significantly. Um, from what it used to be so the first thing the first change I would do the easiest one to do would be to reduce ability cooldowns now um, you wouldn't have to change any of these stats on armor you wouldn't have to change any of that just reduce the times on the actual max cooldowns you know so for, for example for a grenade and melee let's say you, you know a max cooldown here is 35 seconds um, 35 seconds is you know an extra 10 seconds on top. It'd make people not spam them as much, and you know that'd be it'd help out a little bit. Okay, granted it may not be too much of a bigger change, or some people might think, oh that's too much of an increase. But the gunplay in Destiny has just gone down. There's there's never any real gunfights in Destiny anymore. It's either you get tagged by a grenade and then you get cleaned up. Or you just get killed by a grenade, by a, like a sticky grenade, you know, for example, fusions. Um, in general, abilities need to be reworked. Um, it's become very obnoxious to play against, and in general, the, the gameplay is just not as fun. Um, so that would be the first thing, like I said. Change the ability cooldowns. This would be the, fir the first and obvious easy way to change stuff. I think in year one of Destiny, it was a 34 second cooldown on a grenade and melee um, if I'm not mistaken I'm pretty sure it was that if you had it on max um, I could be wrong there but I'm pretty sure that is what it was so I mean pretty much just revert it back to what it was okay 25 seconds you, you don't need a grenade every 25 seconds I mean come on now it's it's kind of stupid to say that I could spam an axiom bolt and then get one back 25 seconds later it's just annoying um, and the next thing I'm going to get into is basically certain grenades need to be changed which I'm going to get into right now so the first thing that I would change in grenades now there's plenty of grenades in Destiny in my opinion that do need changing um, so for example let's take the void walker okay we're just for an example here we're just going to use a void walker um, so Axiom Bolts, as a, in general, Axiom Bolts are a phenomenal grenade, you know, very easy to use, you throw it, it'll track someone for you know, a, a pretty decent amount of time, you can even extend that with Vortex Mastery if you want to. Um, so in general, Axiom Bolts, very good and super easy to use, don't require any thought or placement, just literally LB and then it'll track someone if someone's near. Now, in my opinion, these grenades need to um, not be greatly nerfed, but I don't think tracking grenades should deal as much damage as they do in Destiny. I think the easier grenade you use, the less damage it should deal. 
um, certain grenades that actually take skill to use, for example, vortex grenades, could do with a buff. Vortex grenades could do with, I'm not saying they maybe need a damage buff, but maybe increase the radius of them. Um, just give them some different properties, you know. Uh, that, uh, that in general is just, it's just a bad grenade, <laughs> okay, it's just not... I don't know anybody that uses Vortex Grenades, unless you're possibly on a Night Stalker Wombo combo in. Um, but even then, most people use Spike Grenades or the Void Wall. Um, vortex Grenades, in general, need reworking. Either buff the damage, or buff the radius, or maybe both, make people use them more. Scatter Grenades, in general, again, on their own, fine. They deal a hell of a lot of damage, you have to place them correctly. You know, the reward a skilled hand. But, the situation is different if I was to slap on the nothing manacles. Now, they become quite an obnoxious, annoying grenade to play against. They're easier to use, they start to track. And sort of, the skill is just sort of gone. Um, in my opinion, I, d I do not like tracking grenades. Um, I just think it sort of takes the, you know, the skill out of the ability in general. Now... I'm not saying, you know, to nerf knocking manacles, I'm not saying to nerf scatter grenades, but, you know, the, there needs to be some sort of trade-off when I equip these, you know, I gain an additional scatter grenade, and, uh, you know, scatter grenades have tracking. That's two pluses and no, no negatives, okay? Um, so maybe just slightly decrease the damage on them so they're not as lethal, um, you know, just little things like th that I feel like it sort of help um, again this is just me brainstorming ideas this isn't me saying I want this to happen um, but the next example I'm gonna use probably one of the most annoying ones right now is gonna be the Sunsinger with double fusion grenades this is a very annoying build to play against a lot of people hate it and rightfully so it's just so annoying the techno skill to use you throw it say if I this wall here was an enemy and I threw my grenade here, it'd just it'd stick them. Okay, say if the enemy's arm was right there, you know, the hitbox is this far away, and I throw it here, it'd probably still stick. Sticky grenades, in general, um, the magnetism on them needs to be brought down um, if you want them to be a one-shot kill. If you um, want them to remain as magnetic as they are, you need to actually reduce the damage of them and not make them a one-shot. Um, that's the way around it that I would choose. That's the most easiest, you know, way I can think of. Um, but again, this is just a couple of ideas I've been thinking about. This isn't changes that are going to happen. This is just me sort of thinking about things. Um, whether you disagree or agree with anything, you know, this is like I said, don't take anything to heart. This is not me trying to shit on warlocks or any other subclass in the game. This is just me coming together with some ideas, trying to put them out there trying to get other people's opinions on them so once again please if you have any different opinions on grenades and abilities in destiny at the current state let me know down in the comments you know i'm always eager to know what other people think um it helps me you know wide you know get a, a better opinion on things because um i know a lot of people in destiny right now are pretty sick of you know sticky grenades as a whole it's just annoying to play against you know just to do that and have a free kill whilst I'm shooting you with a primary trying to actually get a kill with something that takes skill you just go like that and then I'm dead it's it is a very annoying to play against I know a huge you know, part of the population and that plays destiny is annoyed with this but like I said I want to know your guys thoughts please let me know down in the comments below please let me know what you would change um, things you wouldn't change what grenades do you think need to be changed and what would you do to them but anyway Hopefully you liked the topic, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel for future Destiny content. Thank you so much for watching guys, and peace.